Hey guys, and welcome to Ardent Sports. And here I am today with week 15 of my NFL season predictions. Um, gonna do it this way today, uh, a little bit different, but that's okay. So let's get right into it. So I have tonight the Chargers and the Raiders. Um, definitely gonna be an interesting game. Um, both teams are about equal. Um, Raiders just doing a little bit better. Chargers are four and nine. Raiders are seven and six. Justin Herbert's been doing pretty well for them this season. Not awful, not great, considering he's a rookie with, you know, obviously not a lot of NFL experience. Um, I am going to take Derek Carr and the Raiders in this game. They are home. So I will be taking the Raiders. Saturday, we finally have some Saturday games. Uh, we have the Bills and the Broncos at 430. And I am going to take Buffalo in this game. Not much hesitation there. Uh, Bills are 10 and 3. Josh Allen has looked great pretty much all season. While the Broncos have been up and down uh, various uh, various quarterbacks, including a running back at one point. So I will be taking the Buffalo Bills. Then we have the Carolina Panthers and the Green Bay Packers. Not much time this game. I'm taking Green Bay. Uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the uh, Falcons. Sunday, 1 o'clock. I am taking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The San Francisco 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys. Believe it or not, I'm going to take the 49ers. Uh, it's going to be a really close game. Might even be kind of low scoring, but I will be taking San Francisco. Uh, next, we have the Detroit Lions and the Tennessee Titans. Not much to say on this one. Not much of a question. I'm taking Tennessee. We have the Houston Texans and the Indianapolis Colts. I am going to be taking Indianapolis. They're playing at Lucas Oil Stadium. Phillip Rivers um, has been doing pretty well. If, why do I feel like Rivers all of a sudden isn't starting in this? I thought I read something about that he was hurt or something, but... I will be taking Indianapolis in this game regardless. New England Patriots head into Miami just in time to get out of this massive snowstorm. Um, New England has been not New England this year. Um, but the Dolphins have been doing okay. Uh, Tua Tagovailoa is officially their starter over Ryan Fitzpatrick. Um, Cam Newton has been doing decent since he's come back from the injured list or whatever you want to call it, just questionable, because he wasn't really on the reserve. He was just out for a couple games. Um, I'm going to take Miami. They're at home. I think two is going to get the job done. I'm taking Miami. The Bears and the Vikings. I'm going to take the Vikings in the battle of the six and sevens in Minnesota. Seattle Seahawks and the Washington football team. I'm taking Seattle, no questions there. Baltimore and Jacksonville in Baltimore. I'm taking Baltimore, no questions asked. Uh, the Jets and the Rams. The Rams, no question. The Eagles, who sit at 4-8-1, face off against the Cardinals, who hit, who sit at 7-6. Seven, six, seven six. Um, I'm going to take the Cardinals. Um, not a whole lot to say on this one. I think that Kyler Murray can get a job. Jalen Hurts didn't look too bad last week. Um I believe he's going to get the start again this week. Um, I, because I'm pretty sure it's Carson Wentz is still benched, but I feel Kyler Mur Kyler Murray will get the job done. Um, last two games, by the way, were at four o'clock and or no, both at four o'clock. Now the four twenty-five game, there's only one of those. Um, Chiefs and Saints. I'm going to take the Chiefs. That game's going to be interesting. Um, Drew Brees might be back. I don't know if they're still going to roll with Hill. But Drew Brees has been lifted to start practicing again. But I'm going to take the Chiefs. Sunday night, we had the Cleveland Browns and New York Giants. Daniel Jones may not be playing due to a hamstring injury and an ankle sprain. Um, doesn't matter. I'm taking Cleveland. Uh, Cleveland has just been looking absolutely incredible lately. Uh, Baker Mayfield has been doing great. Um, Jarvis Landry has been doing pretty damn well. And Nick Chubb is, well, Nick Chubb. So, And Monday night football. Pittsburgh Steelers, 11 and 2. Cincinnati Bengals, 2 10 and 1. I am taking the Pittsburgh Steelers. So that is it for me, guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell so you know more to help out the channel. Be sure to check out your boy Hobo and his picks. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Peace and out.